And we do begin our WOR primary election headquarters coverage here on WOR 710. And if any one thing can be said to mark today's New York statewide primary, it is a succession of charges from all kinds of sources of total snafus in a number of areas of the city in connection with the opening of polling places, uh, the failure of the polling blue booths to function properly. As a matter of fact, uh, within a half an hour after the polls opened, the New York State McGovern campaign uh, condemned what it called the outrageous delays in the opening of polls and their proper functioning in at least two districts. Uh, several places reported, uh, for example, at 3.30, half an hour after the polls were to have opened, that they weren't opening yet. Queens uh, Councilman Matthew Troy, who was the Queens County Democratic Chairman, and also a McGovern campaign aide, was incensed. At 4 o'clock over in Queens, he said 27 of the 38 districts in his area were not open yet. And he said at 5 o'clock, two hours after the polls were to have opened, he said there were still five districts that weren't functioning. He said that it was one of the worst snafus that he'd ever seen. Bronx Borough President Robert Abrams also said that, that he couldn't recall as many errors uh, of omission and commission in connection with a primary or an election as were obviously occurring today. And incidentally, this reporter was part and parcel of one of those snafus in his own uh, polling district here in New York City today, so I know whereof these gentlemen are speaking. Polls closed in the city at 10 o'clock. They closed elsewhere in the state at 9, except for one congressional district in Buffalo where a state Supreme Court justice ordered the polls to remain open for an extra two hours because of a snafu relating to 207 voting machines in the 37th Congressional District in Buffalo. Now, we do have the first returns in. They are, of course, spotty. They do not relate to the selection of uh, delegates to the Democratic Convention, but here's what we have. In the first returns, in the 14th Congressional District in Queens, with 10 election districts out of 167, Congressman Rooney, who is looking for his 13th term in the House of Representatives, has a very wide margin over his chief challenger, former Congressman Allard Lowenstein. Rooney, 968 votes. Lowenstein, 479 votes. And the third party running in that race, Gross, has 198. That's Irving Gross with 188 votes. In the 16th Congressional District in Kings County, where uh, Congressman Emanuel Seller has held that seat since 1922, with three of the 265 districts, uh, he is trailing one of his two challengers. That's in the 16th Congressional District in Brooklyn. Uh, Congressman Seller is being led at this moment by Elizabeth Holtzman, who has 111 votes, Seller 79, and a third challenger, R.E. O'Donnell, has 59 votes. In the 19th Congressional District here in Manhattan, with seven of the 235 electric di uh, electoral districts, the incumbent, Congressman Charles Rangel, has 366 votes. His challenger, Livingston Wingate, 224. In Kings County, in the 13th Congressional District, in what has been one of the most bitterly fought races thus far, uh, the incumbent, Congressman Bertram Podell, has 332 votes. Leonard Simon, his challenger, has 99 votes. In another district, in the 21st con Congressional District, the seat held by Congressman Herman Badillo, uh, with just a handful of congressional districts reporting, Badillo has an almost three-to-one margin over his challenger. Badillo, 1910, and uh, his challenger, uh, a state assemblyman, Manuel Ramos, has only 617 votes. We do have the first returns in the state court of appeals race. There are four candidates, three to be elected. And uh, heading that list at the moment is uh, Justice Meyer, Justice Bernard Meyer with 363 votes. Running second is the only woman among the four candidates, uh, Justice Nanette Dembitz with 339 votes. There has never been a woman to serve on the state court of appeals. Uh, running third is uh, Justice Martuscello, who has 261 votes. That's Henry Martuscello. And running fourth in the field is Justice Lawrence Cook, who has 199 votes. Those are a scattering of reports that we have right now. And at this moment, let's go to McGovern headquarters and John Wingate. In the West Ballroom of the Biltmore Hotel, let's don't use any cliches. It would be pure corn. It's not a matter of elation or jubilation. They are simply awaiting the expected. 
Their man is going to win the presidential primary. They have little doubt about that. No one else has any doubt. They're waiting for him to come down, accept it, and move on. The big story is the Secret Service tight guard. They are all over the place. Most of them are pretty clean-shaven. They're today's Ivy League, which is a far cry from 1950, for example. They ring the balcony above him. They wear the Secret Service identification. They have a sense of humor. I said to one of them, it's not you guys to worry about, but those out on the floor who can't be tabbed as Secret Service men. He said, you're right. That's the story. They are awaiting the expected. Now, despite the tight Secret Service guard, we can't get within XX feet of him. Three people with no identification whatever walked in. How do I know? One was from the station. Two were friends. They came in to see me. One had a shopping bag. That's the story at McGovern headquarters. The awaiting of the expected. Now back to Lester Smith at WOR headquarters. Thank you, John. We have... Uh... One congressional district and the one election district and the 20th congressional district, which of course is that uh, very confused and somewhat ridiculous redistricted district which runs from Fourth Street in Lower Manhattan all the way up into the far reaches of Riverdale uh, in the Bronx, where uh, incumbent Congressman William Ryan and incumbent Congresswoman Bella Abzug are battling. Ryan has won Mrs. Abzug's own election district, 103 to 66. We have the first returns on that new redistricted 22nd Congressional District in the Bronx. 20 election districts out of 308. Congressman James Scheuer with 735 votes. Congressman Jonathan Bingham with 616 votes. We also have an update on that 16th Congressional District in uh, Kings County, uh, where uh, Congressman Emanuel Seller has uh, held forth for the past 50 years. He still trails with 25 of 265 election districts. He is trailing Elizabeth Holtzman, who has 856 votes, Seller 970, 798, and R.E. O'Donnell with 566. Now let's go to John Scott at Ryan headquarters. It would appear, Lester, that uh, at least according to the people here, the constituents of William Ryan, that he's off to a smashing victory. Uh, the results from 50 election districts show that uh, Congressman Ryan has 5,551 votes. His opponent, Bella Abzug, has 2,915, and not quite a two-to-one lead. There was a great deal of conjecture, of course, as to whether or not Bill uh, Fitzryan, who's served in Congress since 1960, would be able to win in this, uh, what can we call it, a gerrymandered district up here in the 20th? In any event, Bella Abzug made her challenge here, and as things look now, she did not make too wise a choice. I'd like to repeat that latest figure. 50 election districts, Ryan 5,551, Bella Abzug 2,915. John Scott from Bill Ryan's district, the 20th district, reporting now back to WOR and Lester Smith. And we'll give you one update on that 20th election district with 32 of the 260 electoral districts, Ryan 2,945, Abzug 1,438 with 36 of 167 in the Kings County in the 14th Congressional District. Rooney, 3,030. Lowenstein, 2,190. We'll have continuing coverage. We'll join you again on the 11 o'clock news and throughout the night until all these races are determined, as well as what the delegate count is. Bear in mind that once the polls close, uh, Senator McGovern already had 41 of New York's 278 convention delegates because they were running unopposed. Lester Smith from WR's primary election headquarters.